everybody welcome back today we're going to reinstall the CBX engine finally and uh, or reattach the frame to it and as you can see here um, I went to Harbor Freight and I got a uh, transmission jack as you can see that I have the engine strapped to there and it really makes it easy because you can adjust the height and move the engine back and forth according to how you know you need to um, and if you have a lift like I do you can attach the front wheel then lift the frame up with the fork assembly and just lower it down onto the front wheel as you can see here as I'm doing and once it's a little bit tough because it's kind of heavy with the fork assembly but once you get it onto the axle there you can then pivot the frame down as you can see here and and again with the transmission jack you can move the engine forward and <laughs> I I know I've got the cord there in the way but it didn't seem to to bother anything um, anyway you just lower the frame down and again you have to position the engine just right or or at least close to just right and get one of the uh, engine mount uh, long bolts in hand and ready because once you lower it down you want to install one of those to keep the plane uh, keep the frame in place again you may have to wiggle the engine around a little bit or move the frame up and down or back and forth and then just kind of tap the bolt in to get it started and then get a little rubber mallet kind of tap it in get it started more and again as you can see here I'm adjusting the frame back and forth as needed and then you just work the bolt in and once you get it to a certain point, then it goes right in. So once you have one of those bolts in, as you can see there, the frame is in position. And the rest of them are a lot easier. And again, with the transmission jack, you can raise or lower the engine or move it back and forth as you need to. Now, one of these bolts that I'm putting in you actually have to use one of the foot plates to, to you know put it through one of the foot plates first but I'm putting it putting it in right now just to get the engine positioned so that I can install the motor mounts at the top so I put these first two bolts in one at the top one at the bottom And the one at the bottom is where the uh, where one of the foot plates goes. And what I'm doing here is I'm positioning the frame in line with the front wheel, make it straight. And then at that point, you're ready to install the top motor mounts. And also at this point, you can disconnect the, uh, the strap. I mean, I've got the strap holding the engine to the transmission lift so that the engine was secure. And now you're ready to install the, uh, the, the center stand. You want to get the center stand on there as soon as possible so you can remove the transmission jack. And I'm kind of jumping forward here, but, uh, you know, because it's a little tedious to get the, the uh, swing arm bolt through there. But once you get it through, then you can install the spring. And the easiest way to install the spring, the spring is very, very tough to pull, is that you, you do it before you attach anything else that way you can bring the swing arm all the way up like like you see here and the spring just s slips right over 
into position very easily. Just like that. Very easy to do before you put the swing arm on. And once that's done, then, then your, uh, your center stand is on there permanently then. So then once the swing arm is on, you want to go ahead and, uh, or I'm sorry, the, the center stand, then you can go ahead and install your top motor mount bolts, motor mounts. And I've got, I've got one of them started here, and I just have the bolts turned in by hand. And you want to do it by hand so that you know you're not cross-threading the, uh, the threads. And these little ones in the back here are most important because the bolts are very, very short and extremely easy to cross thread. You want to clean up all your threads and, and on both the bolt and the, the threads before you do this so that they're easily turned in by hand. And if you can't turn them by hand, you have to adjust the engine up or down or back or forth or whatever so that those lines, the, those holes line up perfectly. So I have all the bolts started and hand tightened, not tight, but just loosely there. So once you get all the motor mounts located, then you're ready to install the, uh, the foot, foot um, brackets. And as you can see here, I have a brand new set, a European sports kit in the box. I showed it to you in an earlier video. And the foot plates are brand new, never been installed, and they're beautiful. Nothing like installing brand new NOS parts. So you start on the left side of the engine, and I installed this long bolt early on, but then I re removed it so that I could install the foot plates. I removed it after all the other motor mounts were in place. So you first put it in when you first put the frame on, then you have to take it out and then put the foot plate on and, and reinstall it. And here I'm positioning the swing arm and it should just go in that easy and once that's in then you can install the other side Beautiful brand new NOS. The European Sport Kit sets the foot pegs back a couple of inches farther back and then uh, lower handlebars. Once that's all installed and the engine is in place and secured, then we can start building the rest of the bike. And as you can see here, I have all my new parts laid out and some of my powder coated stuff that is ready to uh, install onto the bike new wire harness and so on and so forth and we'll be doing that over the next few videos so um, that's going to do it for this particular video it's short and sweet but at least now we have the frame attached to the engine we've got the uh, foot plates back in place we've got the swing arm installed and the center stand and like i said in the next few videos we'll be getting the rest of the bike together and it's going to come together pretty quick so uh, please stay tuned for that and please subscribe like and share it really helps uh, i really appreciate the support on the channel and uh, again stay tuned for some more videos on this bike 
and then I'm going to be starting on the 1100F here very, very soon. So uh, anyway, thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you. Appreciate it.